Okay, so there are two new things that happened this year. One, it's obviously 2016, and number two, you're going to have to guess. And if you guess it, congratulations, you're an awesome person. I'll give you a few seconds. Did you figure it out? It's because I got new glasses on. Apparently no one talked to me about, hey, you got new glasses on, because I don't know why. All you little masters, this is Master FY24 here, and today I had a lot of ideas of what to do for this video. However, I had one thing that happened recently, and I thought that since it's fresh on my mind, I thought I would go ahead and tell it to all you people. So, welcome to Story Time with Master FY24! Woo! Now, I don't know how often I will give you guys an episode of the series, but it'll probably happen every time something crazy happens, but I can't necessarily record it, and it's something that I need to get off my chest. So basically, it's a Wednesday as I'm recording this, and basically, I was on a bus because I had to get back home because school was over, and apparently, we got a new sub. Now, I did not expect this to happen, but apparently the story was is that our original bus driver almost accidentally hit another child. Now, honestly, I have no idea how this happened or why. I don't know if I should actually blame it on the bus driver or the student. I'm not too sure, but uh, it was really unfortunate because this sub was a little crazy. So there I am, walking to the bus with just my phone and my water bottle in my hand with my backpack over my shoulders. And this guy decides to tell me, hey, you need to put the phone away. I'm not sure if that's exactly how he sounded, but we're gonna go with it. Because to be honest, he sounded like he was on drugs. He looked like he was on drugs. His hair, I mean, I don't know if it was because he was old and I'm basically being insulting, which I'm not trying to insult the fact that he was old. I'm trying to insult the fact that he was a horrible bus driver. But I mean, his voice was a little creepy, but it was also very low. It's not really good at projecting compared to mine. He also had this weird mustache going on. One of those mustaches where you can't even see the guy's top lip. You can only see the bottom. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it was horrible. Speaking of his hair, his hair was like kind of, I don't know, it was some weird flat mullet kind of thing. Not like a Billy Ray Cyrus like awesome dope mullet. I'm talking like, again, it was almost as if I took a cape from a superhero shrunk it, dyed it some weird white blondish color, and made it into hair instead of cloth, and put that on his head. That's how I saw it. Anyway, so apparently he didn't want anyone to have their phones out, which honestly, I wasn't too sure why, because it's not like we're actually at school, nor is it actually the fact that one of the students is driving. You know who is driving? That bus driver. I mean, if anything, the one that's not supposed to have their phone out is actually him. We would be riding and then out of nowhere, boom, there's a bump and then I choke on my water and then I completely fail as a human being. Now, the reason why we actually weren't allowed to have these out on the bus is because he was worried that we would take pictures of people without their permission. Let me get this straight. You're worried that someone's gonna take a picture of someone without them knowing? Clearly you haven't been on Snapchat, my friend. Because to be honest, these days, 80% of people on Snapchat be like taking pictures, probably videotaping them, probably just like zooming in and out on their besties because let's be real here. Practical jokes, right? On their friends? Come on. But do you really think we're gonna do that on the bus right now? One, that rarely happens. And two, you're worried about that when there could be a lot of other things to worry about? I mean, let's be real here, okay? You could have picked any reason from the excuse book, but you just had to pick that one. Here's a bunch of other reasons that would be a lot better. Number one, you have your phone out and then out of nowhere you hit a bump and then the phone flies and it either hits someone, goes on the floor and is lost, or worst case scenario, it leaves the window. Oh my God, the horror. Number two, the fact that one person might have their phone out, but their quote unquote best friend is sitting right next to them, worried and confused of why that person isn't talking to them. And number three, the fact that the person has their phone out where they could be talking to someone, even though they might not know them, they should still introduce them, meet new people, but apparently they decide not to do that. And to be honest, those things rarely happen, so it's not like it's really hurting anyone. 
And this is the first year of 2016, and guess what? In 2016, if you don't allow someone to have their phone now in a situation where it's perfectly acceptable, then guess what? Crap just got personal, and trust me, you do not want that to happen. If you die, it's clearly your fault. And like I mentioned before, his voice was kind of quiet, and you had to be like, What? Huh? I can't hear you. Wait, say that again? Even though we're like a few feet away from each other? Wait, what? And unfortunately, he was one of those people that fails at getting people's attention. And in the end, half of the people on the bus decided to get up and leave the bus, so that way, their parents could pick them up instead. And to be honest, I could have left the bus myself since I had drama club, but I wanted to film a video talking about what happened on the bus apparently. You're welcome. That I need to get my workout in, you know, I'm doing Pilates today. I need to work on homework. And at one point he was at a road where there was a stop sign, but he could have went because he would have turned without fail, but he didn't. And about a minute afterwards, there was a general awkward silence because, let's be real here, no one wants to talk to him. And every time multiple kids got off a bus, he would be like, Okay, thank you, thank you, thank y'all, thank y'all. And I'm just sitting here thinking, one, it's thanks y'all, and two, you do not need to thank every single person that comes off. You could just thank a group of people that come off if you actually are thanking them for riding your bus. And to be honest, the people that were on the bus, they did not choose to be on the bus. They knew that if they didn't get on the bus, they would not have a way to get home besides walking. And to be honest, no one wants to do that, okay? Psh, please. I said I want to work out, not walk several miles. Psh. I'm hoping I don't have to deal with him on Friday because if I do, I'm gonna go and jump out of the back window. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, no. I'm not gonna jump out the back window, okay? I'm not gonna open the emergency door, okay? I'm gonna jump out the side door, duh! And we're gonna close the book on this chapter of Storytime with Master FY24. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below. What are your worst bus driver experiences? Be sure to go ahead and share this video as well. And I want you to click that subscribe button down below. The new goal is to get to 325 subscribers by the end of the year. Also, be sure to follow me on all my social media links down below. And that will be the end of this episode. So I'll see you little masters later. Goodbye.